Hi there, everybody. Kirk Hamilton here from Kotaku, continuing our run, our sprint through a whole bunch of Oculus Rift launch games. Uh, this is another one that I really like uh, called Esper 2 from a, a studio called Coat Sync and Oculus Studios. Uh, it's a sequel to a game called Esper that was released for the Gear VR, uh, the Samsung Gear VR, which I haven't actually played. So I'm not caught up on the lore. I know Nick Frost from, uh, from all the Edgar Wright movies is in this game. Uh, as voice talent, so I think they're they're pretty. The voice acting has been pretty funny so far. Uh, but anyway, so it's a puzzle game that makes you play as a, tele a telekinetic person who solves puzzles in rooms. You're actually a wheelchair-bound character, which is kind of interesting and not really remarked upon. But you're in this thing in the field, and then you sit in a chair elsewhere. So because I'm sitting in a chair, it actually kind of works. Um, I'm doing this right now with a combination of moving my head around and moving the thumbsticks. So I'll just drop these down and pick them up. Uh, and then I'll go about solving this puzzle. I've already played this section, so you're not going to have to watch me get too stuck on any of the puzzles. Um, so at first I kind of thought this game was going to be a just sort of ho-hum physics puzzler. It didn't excite me very much. But then um, I got to a section that was really cool that I actually want to show you guys. Uh, so I'll get to that uh, in this video as well. It was really uh, just a really awesome level that did all this creative weird crap and really freaked me out. Okay, so this puzzle I'm trying to basically get these two objects up into um, these two bowls or containers. You, that one's for the round one, that one's for the square one. The challenge here is that I can't actually control things if they're behind this graded glass. So the answer is that if I put these two things together, they kind of activate one another and then they become oh, they become mirrors of each other, so I can do this. So now I'm doing this entirely with my head. And now, bam, they line up, and we move on. So this game fights the whole nausea factor by basically making you sit still the whole time. And then you teleport to a new puzzle or a new area. Um, some of the puzzles are more than one room. Um, okay, I guess we have to switch these. And then we just do this, and then this gets a little weird because because there are times where you're moving it and it's out of your field of vision. So you're kind of looking over at one thing and just trusting that the other one is moving. I think that actually might be Nick Frost. Anybody listening to this can probably tell me that sounds like him. Uh, he's your guy out in the field. Uh, let's see, this one's pretty straightforward if I recall correctly. We just do this, and then we do this. Oh, that's right. No, it's not. You know, there's a little twist on this one. So it's very portally, or, you know, like Quantum Conundrum-y. If you've played those games, yeah, I have to go to the left. I think that'll work. Yeah, and then I can grab this. So this is interesting because it requires me to move things. I think this is on purpose. I have to move things that are out of my field of vision and just trust that they're going where they're going. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, I think it's kind of a the the next level that I'm gonna get to. Uh, oh, I can see you down there. Hmm. Hello. Uh, plays with that idea too, with you looking one way and then something happens out of your field of vision when you look back. It's changed. It's pretty startling actually in VR when it does that. Yeah, I think I can find the missing planets, man. Uh, this is a pretty easy one. So I'm just moving this with the thumbstick and then we moving it around with my head. Uh, this is very easy puzzle. So this is the third one. That must be the Earth. There we go. Uh, there's another one over here. That is the yellow one. So that goes here. Yeah, here. Cool. And then we just press that to open this door. Go in here. There'll be a little puzzle in here. These must be coming from somewhere, right? I wonder if the orrery contains some kind of power source. The subtitles are cool because they relocate basically so that you can, um, they're, so you're looking at them wherever you look. Uh, this one took me a second, it's a little bit trickier um, because, see, I can't put this little ball up on that platform, but I need to sync these two up. So I'll put this one here, drop it, then I can, oop, no, I can do this, and then this, and then that, but then I have to get a little tricky with it this and resync them this way. I won't, <laughs> I'll spare you the whole process of solving this puzzle. It took me a minute though, because, uh, let me think. 
Oh, that's right. That's backwards. Um, so I have to come from down here now. Yeah. Do this, because that's the only way I get enough headroom. Get this up. Oh, shit. Okay, I got it. To get this up to where it needs to be. And we're done. Oh, you've won a planet. Congratulations. Uh, you can also throw things. Yeah. <laughs> and then if I come out here, the thing I just threw is way back here. Let's grab it. Obviously, it can go all the way behind myself if I want to. Uh, this is a green thing, so it goes up here. And let's go in here. So, you know, it's like when the objects are on connected plates, their movements are matched. These mirror plates are hurting my head. If, um, it's a little weird that he explains that here when I already, <laughs> I already figured it out a while ago, but whatever. Um, you can kind of imagine, though, how, when I was first playing this level, I was, I was basically thinking, well, this is cool, this is interesting, it's fun, but if it were just a mouse and keyboard game, I wouldn't be that excited by it, but it's just, it's mostly cool because of, you know, because you're in VR, but uh, this this later level, it, it actually, even here, it kind of gets more interesting. What am I doing? I'm pulling it. So let's see, get that off, put that there, put that there. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I'm dumb. Got it. So use the third one to get them both up. Oh, I get it. I get it. It's funny, I solved this one last night and I've forgotten it a little bit. So for this, I do this, and then I do this. Then I can do, yeah, then I can do this. That's one. Let's do that again. Yep. Can't quite see what I'm doing. And there we go. And then we just drop that there. Oh, that's one of the planets. through, come around and grab it. I think this is kind of the boss puzzle of this level. Oh, it's complete! close to your face and it kind of makes you jump. Oh, uh-oh. Something bad is happening. Oh, well, we're getting gassed. But I'll be taking that now. Thank you very much. So that's the mysterious stranger, the mysterious bad guy who turns up through the first few levels. So I'll keep playing. This next part is Hello cool. Hello and welcome to the ESPR training program. My name is Jeff, and I'll be your instructor for this course. The Esper program has been promptly set up by the government in order to address the recent outbreak of extrasensory activity among select citizens. In the drawer to your left, you'll find the first hmm. test. All you have to do is solve it without using your hands. I'm sure a super genius like you can figure it out. Good luck. Okay, I'm starting So I'm down. not doing this. This is just happening automatically. Wait. You solved it already? Wow, that's got to be the fastest time I've ever seen. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, we weren't really prepared for something quite like that. So, uh, I guess for now, please just put the completed cube in the receiver. Or just drop it onto the floor. That's fine, too. <laughs> I already dropped it we onto the floor. Sorry. Video. Ernie, I need every single piece of equipment in that room now. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to do that one more time. We need to keep conditions as consistent as possible. So I need you to forget everything that just happened in the last few minutes. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, hello, and welcome to the ESPR training program. My name is... Oh, let's just get on with it already. In the drawer to your left, yada, 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 puzzle cube. You're a genius. 
Good luck. Okay. I'm starting the clock now. You recording, Ernie? Good. Anytime now. So I'm still not really, wrong? not really doing too much here. I mean, I'm moving it around, but. What's happening? Puzzle cube. He didn't do anything to you. Okay. You need to calm down. Here. Take a look at this relaxing picture. Feeling better? So you can shake your head or nod, depending on, and it'll say what you okay. said. Nope. How about this one? I'm just gonna shake my head. That doesn't really make me feel better either, man. Are you feeling better? No. No. What about? this <laughs> nope feeling better nope okay how about this one let's just say yes feeling we better? can move on okay 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 we don't want another freak out let's take a time out and try something simple so I'll just pick up the correctly shaped object <laughs> on your I won't list. really talk through this I but into the receiver this won't be as cool as the first time I did it uh, just because I know what's going to happen, but this really freaked me out the first time. So check it out. We look over here. We've got this receiver. Looks like a square one. So we grab the square guy. Wait a minute. It's circular. Which is weird. So we set that down. We pick up the circular one. as simple as it looks. And it's changed back again. So basically, it's messing with the fact that my field of vision is restricted. You think about this room a lot, huh? Interesting that this is the first place you came to. And it starts to get weird. <laughs> Pay attention now. This is important. And then suddenly, I can. There's holes. <laughs> so there's not really any pre preparation for this. Um, before in the game, like there are no dream sequences or anything, so suddenly you just realize that you're in a dream sequence and it's really unnerving um, to be trying to figure out what the hell to do and not really, oh, and then everything keeps moving when you look away, and then what are you looking back here for? This completely freaked me out uh, the first time that I did it just was not ready for that guy to be back there, so it took me a good amount of time to figure out what to do, even though it's actually pretty obvious. The answer is you can't get any of them out of your field of vision ever, the two shapes. So you have to just move them together, which is actually a pretty obvious solution, really. And once you do that, you're actually good and you can solve it. Well, what do you know? There's still hope for you yet. Okay. This room is boring me. Let's see what's next. You coming? So we do the same warp thing. And now there's kind of nothing, and these are moving, and then I look at him. Okay. What's wrong with your face? Hey, don't be so rude. They're just confused. Could have fooled me. So this whole section... Please oh! <laughs> You're probably wondering what on earth is going on, right? You're dead! Shut up! No, you're not dead. Just dreaming. Hmm. But something is certainly very wrong. Totally dead. For now, let's just carry on. I'll get to the bottom of this, I assure you. <laughs> yeah, we're not done testing yet, either. So you can see, there are things that appear... I'll just keep moving a little bit longer. And you look one direction and see kind of nothing, and then, oh, look back, and there it is. On, we don't have an eternity. So, Why it's really cool. Um, this is just something I was not expecting to be in this game. It seems like a pretty straightforward puzzle game at first, and suddenly it gets really abstract and startling and strange and very cool. Uh, so I'm definitely going to keep playing it uh, just to see more, but uh, yeah, I figured I would give you guys a look at it. That was a longer look than some of our other games, but I thought people might want to see this section, which was really what sold me on the game and made me think, oh, this is more interesting than I originally thought. Um, so that's uh, Esper 2. It's another Oculus Rift launch game. Very cool one. I will definitely continue to play it.